Hi everyone, welcome back to another Stitches and Scribbles podcast. My name is Erin and today I actually have a whole bunch of updates for you that I'm really really excited to talk about. So first thing I guess to get into, uh, I've mentioned this a couple times in previous podcasts and previous videos, but I finally joined the prayer shawl ministry at my church which means that I'm now working with a wonderful team of crafters to provide some comforting items for people in our parish experiencing a loss or or sickness or just difficult situations at home. And I had an absolute blast at the first meeting. I had so much fun. I got to meet all of the nice ladies who were there and they talked to me about how long the organization has been running some of the things they do and that they even help with the um, Christmas tree donation program um, for families in need around the holidays, which was really, really awesome to see. So that's actually the first whip that I have to show you. I, Because of some of the other announcements, I don't have that many whips um, for this week to show you just because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. So I didn't have a lot of time to work on actual like long-term projects. Um, but my first whip is actually a prayer shawl. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like. I am using the moss stitch or linen stitch. It's the same stitch that I use for my temperature blanket as well as a couple other items that I think I've talked about on my channel before. Um, and I am using two different colorways of the mandala ombre. This was in one of my yarn hauls quite a while back. I actually got it from Walmart, I think. But I'm using the Mandala Ombre in the color Mantra, as well as in this one, which is called Zen. So I'm going to get some blue and turquoise stripes and some green stripes. So you can see that the Zen is the one that I'm currently working off of, but I did already use a full skein of mantra at the bottom. So it's just going to be some really unique, um, calming, cool toned stripes that I'm really excited to give away to somebody. And like I said before, this yarn was already in my stash. I assumed when I started that we would be providing our own yarn to donate, which I was totally happy with. You can see behind me how much of a stash that I've gotten. And I am someone who takes advantages of sales, get things when they're on clearance, stuff like that. But the Prayer Shawl Ministry actually has a budget, so they provide yarn to the makers to make prayer shawls and other items, which was actually super nice and something that I wasn't expecting. So I actually left with some yarn because the meetings are every other month. They're on Tuesday mornings, um, so I won't see the group again until October. But they actually gave me some yarn to take home so that I can make a second shawl to bring back and then... When we go back in October, there'll be more yarn for us to pick from to start a new project. So I left with three skeins of I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby, all three of them in the color Dark Denim, which is a really deep kind of smoky navy blue. It's very um, almost like between a navy and a charcoal gray, I think would best describe the color. But really, really pretty. Um, they picked a lot of like kind of dusty calming tones so there were some like rose tones some sage greens some beiges light blues lavenders just all kind of calming toned down colors which is very appropriate for prayer shells so I'm really excited to be a part of that ministry and to get to know some of the other ladies at the parish I'm definitely the youngest one there by several years so that'll be interesting, but they also do meet on Tuesday mornings, so I'm kind of in a unique situation now that I'm doing stuff from home that I can take that time during the day on Tuesdays to go to church and be a part of a group. But I'm very excited and very excited to use my skills to give back to my community, which was one of the things that um, I decided was necessary with the switch to working from home was that since I would have more time and more flexibility, some of that time should be given back to things in the community, um, especially in my home parish. So I'm really excited to be a part of that and hopefully to join some other ministries soon. 
I do want to be in choir and I play tuba and trombone. I don't know if I've mentioned that on this channel, um, but I actually was in band for all of elementary school, middle school, high school, college. Um, so I'd love to get my instruments back out. Um, when I was a teacher, I did play for my students at like Christmas concerts and special events. Um, so I'd love to get back into doing that. So hopefully music ministry is next on the list as well as um, I just saw that my church has a fall festival that's kind of like autumn and Halloween themed. So definitely interested in that. Halloween is very much my thing. So anything Halloween related, I am more than happy to get involved. Um, next big announcement is I am starting craft fairs. So I had already mentioned that my parents' neighborhood was doing a small like rummage and craft sale out of people's front yards, but there's actually a small farmer's market near me and I went with my mom the other day and actually signed up to be a vendor for their last three, um, last three Wednesdays of the month. So I have now four sale opportunities to get ready for. I'm super excited. I think I have enough product right now, um, but I'll be supplementing in between based on what sells and stuff like that. So I'm super excited for that. I think that um, I'm not like putting my expectations super, super high. Like I don't think I'm gonna sell out or anything, um, but I am excited to at least like get my name out there and kind of be a part of the local like crafting scene. Right now the farmers market that I'll be selling with doesn't have any other craft vendors who come regularly. Apparently there's one lady who comes sometimes with embroidered things but I don't do that so it wouldn't be like that I would be competing with her. Um, so yeah that will be super exciting. So I think in the next podcast I will have already done one of the craft fairs and would it be in the next one? Maybe two podcasts from now. I will have done one craft fair and the neighborhood rummage sale. Or sorry, one farmer's market and the neighborhood rummage sale. So I can talk about the experience in that episode um, and kind of share with you what's going on, which is super fun. And my last super big announcement that I'm really excited about is my Etsy shop is finally open and I will link it in the description below. It's also in my about page now on my YouTube channel. Um, I opened my Etsy shop. Right now I only have one digital pattern in there. I'm hoping to get a couple more um, finalized soon to be able to add those to the shop. And eventually I want to do physical items, but I think I might wait until craft fairs are over to introduce that. Um, maybe sell some of the things that I didn't sell at craft fair or things that did well at craft fair and I made some more of them. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I figured juggling Etsy sales and craft fairs at the same time uh, seemed a little challenging. So. Starting with digital products, there is one pattern up now. It is my Mirkwood shawl. I will insert a picture of that right here. Um, if Hopefully I remember, otherwise it'll just be me waving at empty space. Um, it's a really cool shawl pattern. I am hoping for some sales, so if you're interested, please go ahead and check out my Etsy shop in the link below. I would also love to see pictures if you recreate it. Um, you can tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is still stitches and scribbles, but there's a dot between each word. So it's at stitches dot and dot scribbles because um, stitches and scribbles as one word was already taken. So I have those dots in there, um, but it's the same profile picture as on YouTube, the little skull logo. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to be doing some craft fairs. I did have some friends of my mom who already purchased some items for me, which was very, very exciting. Um, they got to be like my first official sales. Um, we set up like a practice run of setting up the craft fair table in my parents' garage. So they came over and went shopping in the garage, which was pretty fun. 
Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else big that I have to tell you. This might be a shorter episode just because I'm in between a lot of projects. I think the only whip that I've made actual progress on is one that you will eventually drop the needle. Um, you will eventually see this one as a tutorial on YouTube, but it's proving to take a really, really long time, so I'm still working on it. This is going to be the next piece in the Dungeons & Dragons series because we're bringing that back. You can check out the playlist for the other items on my channel. So far I have released I think five of the nine designs, so this will be number six. This is the Half Elf um, Wrap Shawl. It uses just a simple knit pearl pattern. You can see I have my little progress marker in there. I don't know when this one was from, but then I started using this one to mark how much I did every day. So this is how far I got this morning when I was working on this. Um, I love how this is turning out, but it's a really thin yarn and small needles, so it's taking forever. I have, I was originally thinking of using three skeins on this, and this isn't even one skein yet. So definitely will use three. I had gotten an extra um, just in case. Actually, you can see it right behind me. Those are the two extra ones. It's the Yarn B, I don't remember what it's called now, Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK in the color Peacock. So I have some extra ones um, in case I go through all of the ones that I knew I needed for this pattern. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll be done in time <laughs> to actually put it up on YouTube on the day that I wanted to put it up. I think we'll be restarting those tutorials in like towards the end of September I think was the goal that I had set for myself so that I can finish the series by December. Yeah, that was my goal was to finish by December. So we'll get about one a month um, until then and that actually might be it for the podcast. I'll leave all the links below. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this one's on the shorter side. Um, I just have a lot of prep and planning to do for those craft fairs. And thanks for watching. If you want more crafty content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can see more of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!